Once you get rid of monotheistic religion, you just fill it with some other form of religion. You could fill it with scientific atheism, with at least, which at least has a track record of, you know, scientific progress. Or you can fill it with a pagan morality. And that pagan morality is what most people tend to fill it with. Which is why you see on The View, Whoopi Goldberg justifying abortion by citing the Ten Commandments. Because unfortunately on the left, again, when you get rid of Judeo-Christian religion, what you end up with is new sacraments. And the new sacraments of the, of the far left include things like justifying child sacrifice in the sense that you are talking about the justification of the termination of pregnancy and calling it moral. This is a big difference from the 1990s. When I was growing up, safe, legal, and rare at least acknowledged the innate sinfulness and tragedy of an abortion. That's why it was supposed to be rare. Now, the idea is that the Ten Commandments justify abortion. Here is moral scion Whoopi Goldberg. And it's not mentioned in the, in the Big Ten, I'm just going to say. No. In the Big Ten, it is not mentioned. The commandments? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? You know, because I figured God was pretty clear. Here's the stuff that'll make your life better on earth. Here's the thing. Don't lie, because you don't want people lying to you. Don't mess with somebody's wife, because you're going to be mad if they're messing with you. Be just, you know, be common sense stuff. Would say, thou shalt not kill. They believe that. Yes, that well, here's the thing. I think thou shalt not kill cannot be used as the, as the, as the block because we allow wars all the time. Yes, we do. The crusade. No, the you idiot. We yeah. all these things. We so, allow guns. No, you yes. stupid person. No, so no, no. Some conversation to be had here. So you can uh. either you thou shalt not kill yep. for everybody. Yes. And everything. And everything. And everything. Or we have to talk about all the things that you and I yes. need to do. Wait, so so her logic is, just to get this straight, that when the Ten Commandments says thou shalt not murder, okay, the word is murder, it's not kill. As I mentioned yesterday on the show, the word in Hebrew for killing, if you were putting it in the Ten Commandments, would be lo taharog. It's a completely different word. The word in the Ten Commandments is lo tirzach, which literally means do not murder, which is not the same thing because you can kill in self-defense. That's not murder. She is basically saying that if you are willing to execute child rapists and murderers, then you should also be willing to excuse the killing of the unborn. Why? Because this is now a sacrament on the left. Let's be real about this. That is why they're now twisting the Bible. By the way, she's violating one of the Ten Commandments right there by citing God as authority for abortion. She's violating number three, not taking God's name in vain. It's kind of a biggie. The definition of taking God's name in vain, by the way, is not saying, gee, damn it. Okay, the definition of taking God's name in vain is justifying evil action in the name of God. That, that's what it is. And that's exactly what she is doing right there. But this has become a sacrament on the pagan left. On the pagan left, abortion is not just something terrible that sometimes people have to do. It is something that is an affirmative good. And that is perverse. And, and the sacraments include things like abortion, climate change, as well as, of course, trans ideology, which is why you had the bizarre spectacle yesterday of the legendary women's basketball coach Dawn Staley, who, again, is only famous because men and women have different leagues. Here she was yesterday suggesting that trans women should be allowed to play in NCAA events. Here we go. I'm on the, I mean, I'm on the, the opinion of, of if you're a woman, you should play. If you consider yourself a woman or and you want to play sports or, or vice versa, you should be able to play. That's, that's my opinion. You want me to go deeper? Do you, do you think uh, transgender women should be able to participate that, in that, That's your question you want basketball. me to ask. I mean, you want to ask, so I'll, I'll give you that. Yes. Yes. So now the barnstorm of people are going to flood my timeline and be a distraction to me on one of the biggest... Uh, days of, of, of our game. And I'm okay with that. I really am. Okay, I'm just going to point out right here that we made an entire movie called Lady Ballers about precisely this problem in which a bunch of men who are really, really too old for this and out of shape play a bunch of women. Hey, let's be real about this. 
There are a bunch of memes that were going around about Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is a tremendous women's player, historically great women's player. She would not beat a very good, a a half decent high school boys basketball player in a one-on-one. She doesn't have the size for it. She doesn't have the body mass for it. She can't dunk. Like, (laughs) I'm sorry, this is so stupid. But again, the reason that Dawn Staley is saying this is not because she actually believes this. She's saying this because you have to repeat the nostrums of the pagan left. It is very important. These are all sacraments. Sacraments like men can be women. Sacraments like abortion is holy. Sacraments like if you pay homage to the climate change gods, then there won't be an earthquake or a solar eclipse. This is the bizarre universe which we now inhabit. Going online without ExpressVPN, it's like using your smartphone without the protective case. Most of the time, it's probably fine, but then your kid grabs it from your pocket, it falls on the floor, and it shatters. Not that that's happened to me or anything. Well, every time you connect to an unencrypted network in cafes, hotels, or airports, your online data is not secure. Any hacker on the same network can gain access to and steal your personal data. It doesn't take a lot of technical knowledge to hack somebody. All you need is some cheap hardware. Hackers can make up to $1,000 per person selling personal information on the dark web. I love ExpressVPN because they create a secure encrypted tunnel between my device and the internet so hackers can't steal my sensitive data. I really love how ExpressVPN is so easy to use. All you need to do is fire up the app, click one button, get protected. Plus, it works on all devices. We're talking phones, laptops, tablets, and more so you can stay secure on the go. Secure your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro Show. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Ben Shapiro Show. You can get an extra three months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro Show. Again, expressvpn.com slash Ben Shapiro Show to get started. So Sunny Hostin was on The View yesterday, and she not only blamed the solar eclipse on, on, on climate change, she then blamed earthquakes also on climate change. Now, it may be that Tony Hostin just doesn't know literally anything about science, or it may be that you are supposed to, in pagan circles, blame everything on man's sin against nature. That man has sinned against Gaia, and now Gaia will take her revenge. Because this makes no sense. Here is Sonny Hostin yesterday in the most spectacular scientific fail of the day. We've got a solar eclipse. Uh, we've she got the earthquake. The she ran down the hallway. <laughs> the rapture then, is here. The rapture's here. And then also I learned that the cicadas are coming. Cicadas. Cicadas. Although I love for the, the first time in cicada, cicada. like no, no, 100 no, no, years. No, 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 no. Two different, no, no, two, no, well, they, this is what I read. There's two, two, different, there's times two are, different kinds of cicadas. Yes, two different times, times are coming. The good cicadas but, and the bad cicadas. But no. for the first time <laughs> in, in many, many years. No, seven, so, every 17 years this happens. Well, that's not what I read, but maybe... You know, maybe well, you know better. I, but in I will a way, say all those all those things together would maybe lead one to believe that you know either climate change exists, that's or, or something point. is really or going going returning. Earthquakes are not at the mercy of climate change. It's underground. No. It can't. I don't it, think it, that's it, it happens. And the, and the, kind of the eclipse. They've known about the eclipse coming because eclipses happen. It's like watching a bunch of badgers try to understand higher math. Really an amazing. <laughs> but there is something to what Sonny Hostin is saying, and that is that if you live in this pagan world where the world takes its revenge on you for sinning against the climate, then you must pay homage to the climate. You don't have to try and solve a problem. It's not a real world problem that the climate is changing over time and that maybe you adapt to that as human beings or you try to mitigate particular activities. Instead, it is a sin against the climate. Are you tired of the lies and the twists of the mainstream media talking points? Yeah. Me too. Join me in my newest series, Fact, where I dismantle and bring truth to this tiring mainstream agenda. 